I'd like to uh, do something a little participatory, and this is uh, uh, shares this interesting thing. Uh, in, in North America, what they did before uh, advent of European languages, they created, I believe it's the world's first standardized uh, universal language. Everybody know that? It's interesting. It's right, you know this, it's sign right on. Some of you knew this. It's not the deaf sign language, it's not that. And the, actually the best uh, source on this, uh, the Indian Sign Language, are the training manuals put out by the U.S. War Department. Uh, they, they would train uh, people who go out and fight Indian wars in the mid 1800s, and they had manuals that teach this anyway. And, uh, but uh, in my, uh, in, like in my mom's community, when she was little, the uh, people didn't speak English, so the older and elders would teach the kids sign language when they would travel around because they wanted to go visit you know, maybe the Crow Reservation, Shire, or whatever. They had no sign to talk to the people there. And so uh, I wanted to share a little bit of this with you, just give you a little short demonstration. I'll demonstrate a short prayer. And uh, then when I get done, I might give you a little test. Now I'm going to cheat. As you, as you can imagine, I'll cheat because uh, sign language is a silent language, right? You don't hear anything. But a lot of you are not familiar with it. So I'll, I'll, say, uh, I'll say the English word while it means sign. Okay, uh, here we go. O great spirit whose voice I hear in the wind and whose breath gives life to all the world, hear me. I am small and weak, one of your many children of I. Let me walk in beauty and make my eyes always behold the red and purple sunrise. Make my hands respect the things you have made and my ears sharp to hear your voice. Make me wise that I may know the many things you have hidden in every leaf and rock. I seek strength not to be greater than my brother, but to fight my greatest enemy, myself. Make me always ready to come before you with clean hands and straight eyes, so that when life fades like the fading sunset, my spirit may come before you without shame. 